But I'm Gerald, yeah. and I can always have just what I want. Uh, She's the baddest, I would love to flaunt, take a shot, but you know Eve Saint Laurent, but no, no, she ain't with it. So, what's up my peeps, Matrix Native here. Today's video basically showing you my Airborne Ranger build. I know a little something about it. So, this is a, this is a pretty, uh, pretty close build uh, to what a lot of rangers wear out in the field i'm not saying all of them so before i get all the comments from all my brother rangers out there just this is as close as i can get within the ghost wildland setup so let that being said let's get to it you want to hit your back button you'll go into load out obviously why edit appearance now the head and everything that's personal preference right but i will let you know that most rangers don't wear a beard uh because usually when you're in a in a ranger bat in regiment you know they they don't play that shit so uh yeah you know that'll be a video for another day i guess but anyway so i got no facial hair i got my war hot going on you know and again all that is personal preference right uh, as you see, I got the scar actually in real life. I have my scars on my left side. However, that's for another video. Okay, so that's pretty much, you know, this is all pretty much personal preference. You know, I prefer the eye black. That's what I wore in country. So that's why I got it. Tattoos, everything else, that's, uh, that's personal preference. Okay, so we hit with clothes. My top, basically, I got a t-shirt and I equipped it with the uh, Cryptek Highlander. I like that a little more than the chocolate chip or just your basic uh, camo because it's a little darker and it fits Bolivia a little more. So I quit the t-shirt in the, as you can see, the Cryptic Highlander, uh, my vest. I prefer the IBA vest. I like how you got the pocket up there. Plus, in real life, it's actually got the trauma plate behind it, which you probably can't see that right here. But anyway, that's the tack vest. I like having my magazines in front of me. Actually, in country, I carry them to the side so when you're in the prone position, you know, you're not jumping and landing on your magazines, right? So I quit the IBA. I think it looks good as well. On the IBA, I put the CADPAT AR. Basically, uh, that's the kind of camo I use on it. My pants are the Cargo C, obviously, with the Cryptic Nomad. That b that's basically just matches my shirt. Um, now, sometimes what I will do on the tops is I will put the Captic. I think it's the Captic AR. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Or the Atax AU. Because I like a little bit how darker it is. It sort of blends in well. But... When it was all said and done, I just matched it up with the uh, Cryptic Highlander. So that'll be that. Okay, where were we? Okay, pants, cargo C with the Cryptic. The footwear, I just go ahead and use the hiking boots. I do like the hiking shoes. I, I like how they look. However, uh, you know, we're trying to stay uh, true to a Ranger build. So, you know, you're not going out there with hiking shoes on. So the hiking boots for that with the Coyote Brown. No ghillie suit. I was actually running the pants that had the had the uh, the webbing on the back, but after a while, I don't know. It just I just uh, don't run them like that. I just run the uh, straight pants. I wear obviously you can see the ESS ballistic goggles. You will wear uh, most of the time. You will sunglasses are okay, but usually uh, when you go into a hot run or whatnot, you wear your uh, you wear your ballistic goggles because of the the kick up from the rotor blades of choppers and such that will insert an X value infill X value. So that's what we got there. The face wear, obviously, I really didn't. I don't like having my covered face. You know, I like this for the people to see who the fuck you know sent them to see Allah or whatever they believe in. So I wear the shemag. Uh, the sh that I have in the green. The white just doesn't look well. Uh, headwear. Of course, the carbon high cut helmet. That's just really high speed. That's actually uh, actually what a lot of us wore. Some of us wore the regular uh, Cavalier helmet, the, the K pot. But you know, I just don't. I, I like having where I can listen to stuff through my uh, through my radio set. And you know, obviously, an earpiece you can't really hear anything on the battlefield. So I quit the carbon high cut helmet. And that, I got the Cryptic Nomad um, camo headsets. I go with headset A. Uh, I just like it. It's It just looks tough and durable. And obviously, I make that black. Handwear, 
definitely the Oakley Pilots. You, you, I love how it's got the uh, the reinforcement in the knuckles and such. And uh, basically just put those in sandstone. The backpacks, I carry the basically the Prick 150. That's what you call the PRC. That's actually the radio on my back. Um, that's what you... Uh, that's what you always refer to as like a prick. <laughs> PRC 150. So that's that's the pack I go with. And I go with the uh, Cat Pat AR. The Cat Pat AR is usually what I wear with my shirt. Uh, the camo I like wearing with my shirt. but Because it's just a little bit darker. But then when you try to match it up with your pants, the pants are way lighter. So don't use that. So the AN slash PRC 150 will be my backpack. Patches, obviously. Let's go, my peeps, because that's how we roll. I do do the let's roll. Uh, also, for the fact that when you come back from it, right, when you pan back, it looks like a ranger tab from, from the distance, right? Even though, you know, usually your ranger tab would be would be blacked out. You know, you're not going to wear your yellow uh, ranger tab in combat. So, anyways, but I like it. Plus, you know, my, that's how we roll, my peeps. Ha. Okay, so moving on, special outfits. I saved it under set zero, so it's always there. So we back out of that, give you a, a look at the weapons that I carry. So this is a weapon. I, I actually carried a Galil uh, overseas. In deployments, I preferred the, the Galil. However, when I was, uh, that's when I was with group, but basically, you know, this is, this is what we carry, the M4. I mean, and then, as you can see, I have the 50 round mag on it. So, I mean, that's 50 rounds. That's, that's ungodly. And they do make them in, in 50 round mags. So, uh, if you got it, great. If not, um, you know, just equip whatever you have opened. Uh, the under barrel, I got the 203. Uh, you know, you got to have it. Plus, uh, I don't know if some of you guys have played with my left bumper doesn't work. So I need it for like, because <laughs> I can't really throw grenades right now. I'm about to get another control tomorrow. Anyway, I like the 203 a lot better than the STD um, grenade launcher. And plus, I carried the 203. So, you know, this is pretty true to what I carried um, in country on deployment. So on the rail, I got a range finder. I really... Um, I'm not really liking the laser and all that because, I mean, it it might make you a little more accurate, but I just don't like it when you're trying to sneak around and you see the laser going everywhere. And unlike uh, the last ghost, uh, you really can't turn it off once it's on. You, you really can't turn, like, the 3D laser, which I actually equipped in BF4, and you can turn it off and on in BF4, so... Just can't uh, can't equip it because I can't turn it off, basically. So I just use the range finder. It gives me a little more accuracy or whatever. I got the standard barrel right now. Just because I don't have the long barrel, when I open the long barrel, it will definitely be on the weapon. The You know, I got the suppressor, obviously. It's uh, I equip the stock muzzle, though, just because I don't like... Uh, the depressor when I'm carrying it, the suppressor when I when I look at my loadout, I don't I don't care for that suppressor uh, being on my weapon and I can equip it during game. I use a, a panoramic uh, sight. I like it because basically when you're looking through it, if you hit right on your D-pad, you can either get the circle or the T. Uh, the Russian red dot's okay. I just I don't like how you can't see. I like how you can see the peripheral on the uh, on the panoramic site so that's why i use it on the m4 the trigger assembly basically i can keep it at full auto semi which everybody should have open i don't like the semi on it uh auto three burst because you know when it's time to rock and roll it's time to rock and roll so i have it set where i can go uh fully auto and so then paint presets uh i got dead leaves basically and what i like to do as you will see, I, I basically got dead leaves on it all, and then I black out like the 203, the range finder, the barrel, the sight aperture, as well as the stock. Uh, I think that just looks hua, and basically we didn't have our whole weapon, we didn't have it on, um, you know, we didn't have it camoed up like the stock the magazines all that you know i mean let's just keep it real and that's what i tried doing so that is my primary my sniper now to be honest i will carry the depending on the mission to be honest i will carry the sniper rifle the hti right here 
uh, right here because I think that is actually uh, the best sniper rifle in the game in my opinion of course that is personal preference and then as in country I just carry the MK14 it's a fully automatic assault rifle and these are pretty much my primary and secondary weapons on all my builds so uh, the the MK4 sniper rifle like I said, I've carried it uh, in combat, and I just think it's it's tits, man. I mean, you can't beat it. It's got decent damage, great accuracy, and as you can see, I throw the uh, five times scope on it. I do have the silencer equipped on it, even though I do. Uh, let's see, we're going to parts now. Scope. Okay, I carry the T5 XI. Uh, basically, it's a five time, you know, optical. I keep it black. The trigger assembly, uh, again, fully auto semi. You could bust this down to three burst for the MK14. However, again, fully auto sniper rifle. Uh, extended magazine, if you got it open, I equip the 20 under barrel. I keep the short, short grip, uh, the angle grip, because basically if you go through all your grips, it's just it's got what I need. You suffer from handling, but the accuracy is just is just on time, right? And see how it takes from the accuracy. So I just uh, this is what I equipped on it: the shift short angle grip. I keep it black as well, and rail obviously range firing there again for the same reason. I don't carry the dot; she just can't turn them off. Uh, standard barrel again. Once I open the long barrel, of this thing. Look how the damage goes up. Can't wait to open that. Uh, muzzle. I have it on suppressed. Obviously, I will throw a compensator on it once I open them and get rid of the suppressor because really when the sniper rifle comes out I don't know I could leave the suppressor on it but I just feel like it, it'd be a lot better with the compensator or the compensator v2 so once I open that I'll put it on there and again you see I use the dead leaf camo and I black out my stock my magazine my uh, barrel and my scope and yeah and then I go ahead and camo up the um, the suppressor because again when you're in shadows sometimes you know you want some of your weapon to remain black i.e shadow right shadow driven so that's what i do there uh handgun as you can see i do have the deal open but to me i just don't like that it holds a lot less uh ammo as well as you can't equip uh suppressor on it however when i get the whisper i'll probably be carrying that ah uh, there it is the 357 joker i will be equipping that when i open it as well and i doubt that you're going to have silencer capability on that anyway then obviously i carry my drone my frag grenades i carry them i would switch it up but i think i'm getting a new controller monday and again i don't have left bumper which is okay in this game you just basically can't throw frags or whatnot okay the flare gun once i open the flare gun for sure i will be using that we do a lot of air assault slash airborne missions the crew i play with and uh yeah the flare gun if you're out on your own you know a lot of times we don't play with our mini map, so you got to throw up a flare so your team and your group can know exactly your position on the battlefield. Helps them out. Uh, flash grenade, everything's locked right now. I will do an update video once I unlock some more stuff. There's not really a whole lot I would change, but my peeps, that's my build. That's my Airborne Ranger build. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will equip it sometime. Who knows? Go ahead and hit me up. Maybe I'll see you on the battlefield. You know what to do. Snipe like, snipe sub. Hope you have an amazing day. Tell your friends about my channel. Cuz that's how we roll, my peeps. Dreaming big, town is small, and it's going down, all I need is a microphone, I'm headed for the crown, y'all Call me whack, call me weak, say I'll never blow, Memphis bleak They know like the radio, that Henderson was meant to speak I'm on these tracks, just like Thomas, I'm the truth, just being honest Y'all a bunch of Martin and Anthony's, yeah, that's prima donnas Wayne Brady, they know the deal, Henderson